Hi everyone, today we're doing another challenge. We're doing the Sun Tea Challenge. This challenge was originally given from Mid South Olmsted and given to Don't Be Late for Dinner Bell. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living. Mid South Olmsted. Don't Be Late for Dinner Bell. Green tea kombucha supplies antioxidants to support overall health. Green tea kombucha. This delicious blend combines green tea with kombucha to provide antioxidants to support your overall health. Spearmint and lemongrass along with plum and passion fruit flavors harmonize for a light fruity flavor. Enjoy a bright and delightful cup of green tea kombucha and you can see it's vegan which is what I want to show you supplemental facts serving size one tea bag makes eight fluid ounces proprietary blend of herbs 1.847 milligrams organic tea organic green tea leaf organic lemongrass organic spearmint leaf Organic kombucha, other ingredients, natural passion fruit flavor, natural plum flavor. Each tea bag contains approximately 30 milligrams of caffeine as compared to the approximately 90 milligrams of an 8 ounce of coffee. And you can see it's a vegan. That's what I want to show you. To get the most out of every cup, Bring water to just to boiling and steep for three minutes. For a stronger tea, use two tea bags. Enjoy three to four cups a day. What's in this tea? View all ingredients. Green tea leaf. Green tea is made from the unfermented leaves of Camellia sinensis. The same plant that gives us black and oolong tea. All teas from Camellia sinensis supply antioxidants. But because green tea is the least processed, it is said to contain the most antioxidants, polyphenols, which are responsible for many of its health benefits. Lemongrass. Lemongrass is a tropical herb that is popular in Thai cooking. Traditionally, it has been used to support normal respiratory functions. Lemongrass tastes great and is a warming herb that can be used to support digestion. Spearmint leaf. Spearmint leaf has been used for culinary and medicinal purposes since the time of the ancient Romans. It is mildly soothing and relaxing overall. Ayurveda says that this herb can help to clear the mind and senses. Like all mints, spearmint is a mild diaphoretic that can help support the respiratory system. Kumbacha Kumbacha comes from North Central Asia. It is a strain of one bacterium and three or four different yeast. When grown properly, the culture produces glucuronic acid, acetic acid, and many vitamins and amino acids that can help support the immune system. It is valued by herbalists for its ability to support intestinal function, supply nutrients to promote balance intestinal flora, and its ability to help circulate the energy in the body. It can be de detox uh, detoxifying to the entire body and can help to support elimination and support metabolic harmony. Natural and Organic Flavors Natural and organic flavors are derived from natural sources of as spice, fruit, herbs, roots, or many other plants or foods whose significant function in food is flavoring.
Okay, so I took a look at Belle's video and what she did is she basically got one of these jars and she used tea. Well, we can't, we vegans can't possibly make anything easy. So what I did is I'm going to wash this one out and I'm going to remove this cap out when I put it outside because I don't want it to cook in there. And of course, I'm going to be making green tea kombucha. It has all kinds of antioxidants and stuff like that. And so there's all kinds of little stories about it over here. And I got this one on sale for $2. That's why it says two bucks. And it says if this delicious blend combines green tea with kombucha to supply antioxidants to support your overall health. Spearmint and lemongrass along with plum and passion fruit flavor harmonizes for a light fruity flavor. So we're gonna first start off on this challenge by putting in three of these tea bags, which is basically what Belle did. She uses Lipton tea. I'm gonna use this Yogi Green Tea, tea Yogi Green Tea Kombucha. And then, so come back, come back in a few minutes while I clean this jar. Warning, if you're pregnant, don't drink this tea. Consult your healthcare provider prior to use your, if you're pregnant. Well, that's nice, I'm not pregnant, so I'm fine. It's got the vegan sign, it's got this strange signal that says B. It says right here, made with organic green tea leaves. There's no directions. So, I'm assuming you steep the tea, you drop it in. Well, if you're looking for directions on the box, it's not gonna happen, it's not there. The directions are on the back of a tea leaf. So here it is. Get the most out of every cup. Bring water to just to boiling and steep for three minutes. For stronger tea, use two tea bags. Drink three to four cups daily. And on here it says organic green tea leaf, organic lemongrass, organic super mint leaf, natural passion fruit flavor, natural plum flavor, organic kombucha. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure. So we're not going to do, since it's the first time I've had this, I'm going to put in four of these things. So that'll be four cups, four of these containers in there. I'm going to take the tea bag out of the container. So don't think that I'm going to leave this store them in. And I'm finishing up, as you can see over here in the sink, just finishing up, cleaning up this container here. And of course, it just came straight from one of we have these discount stores. Ours is called Big Lots, and I bought this container for seven dollars. Okay, so yes, I went out and bought a container for it. Do you need this container? No. Could you get away with something else? You could even do something like this. This is some Classico tomato and basil. The container's got a lid on it. You could sterilize in a dishwasher if you wanted to, or just do like I did, make sure it's clean, and put your tea in that, and then you'd have enough for the day. I just went a little crazy and bought this really fancy jar here that says, it says, cracker barrel style. Okay, maybe because it looks like a barrel. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna tear up, open these tea bags, and we're just gonna drop them in. Oh, they smell really good. You can really smell the spearmint in it, in each bag. Okay. I would really like to have it without that extra piece of paper there, because that's designed so it goes around your cup. Let's see what it say on that little thing. Let your energy be used to build, not destroy. Let's see if the others say the same thing. I'm gonna cut this bag off. Well, it might make it easier for me to pull it out. So I'm gonna just take the little tip off. So you see, just have the string. This other one says, forgiveness is an act of consciousness. Okay, that's a good thing to know. Oops. Threw the paper in, then threw the tea bag in. That's not with the plan. So now we have two bags. The next tea bag says, an attitude of 
gratitude brings opportunity. Oh, look at that. You could just pull it off. Who knew, huh? But then you're still stuck with a little piece of paper at the end, so that didn't work. Okay, that's the third one. And here's a fourth bag. And this little thing from Yogi says, it's not talking of love, but living in love. That's everything. Okay. All the philosophy is done. Okay, so now we have four tea bags in here. I'm going to put four cups of water in. Okay, so here I am pouring the four cups of water. And this container is so large that I think I'm just going to put, I'm going to double it. So instead of having four cups, now it's got eight cups. And because it's got, I'm going to add four more bags of the Yogi Green Tea Kombucha. And we'll read what each of them say. So this one is saying, steadiness comes from character and commitment. Okay. And then we're going to cut the string off of that, drop the tea bag in. The next one says, lift people up to their potential and hire self yourself. Lift people up to their potential and hire self. Okay. This one says, the beauty of the soul is constant, continuous, and endless. Oh. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, Let's see if I have enough to do eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we have one more for eight. Okay. And this little tag says, when you act with compassion, compassion, when you act with compassion, you will never be wrong. Okay. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One cup per bag. So this is gonna be our sun tea. We're gonna lock, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little thing off because I don't want it to, to melt in the sun. It's not gonna, it's sealed. I'm hoping it doesn't leak that badly. I'm gonna, now, I'm gonna put it outside and I'll show you what I've done with it. Is I've placed it on our we have walls in between the, the different units. I've placed it on top. We have a really nice flat surface over here. So that's where the sun tea is gonna go, the kombucha sun tea. I'm gonna leave it here for about three hours, maybe more, and we'll see if it darkens up and we'll be able to drink it for later. All right, what's next? Well, we're gonna take all these old bags and put into this cup, in this uh, old box, and all these fabulous sayings that they had. And we're going to toss this in a trash can. Now this is, re I'm just going to recycle the paper because we have a recycling trash can. And just in case you're curious, I bought a 142 ounce container, probably overkill. It's an experiment and we'll have to experiment. And it was from Circleware. They're calling it the Asbury series canister. It looks like someone has Cheerios in there. We're doing tea. So, so far I spent Seven dollars for the container and two dollars for the tea. So that's that's what that is. And it gives you and we'll for this challenge. We'll be able to reuse the container as I continue to do this more and more of these videos. Alright, so this is the continuation of the of the tea challenge from Bell. And what I've done is I've left this jar in the sun all day long. And you can tell the water was clear when I first started and now it is, it looks like tea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pour it in here in a clean pitcher. Had some spots in it, but I was, okay. And then we're just gonna pour this in here. Now, it's nine o'clock at night. I've been working on other things. So I can't drink this now. But tomorrow morning, I'm going to wash this jar 
and show you how I finish the tea challenge. All right, so for now, this is going in the refrigerator. I'm gonna put it under seal, and it's gonna be in a safe place right here in my fridge. Picking it up, sticking it right here. And can you see it? So it's not going anywhere at all. It'll be in a nice, safe environment until tomorrow morning. All right, so this is a continuation of the sun challenge from Bell. And what we did is we let this roast out this kombucha tea for a full day of hot California weather. You can still see, you can see the tea bags are still in the pot. I transferred over from the glass container to this plastic pot. It was just bubbling with just joy and pleasure. And just because I am who I am, I have added and topped it off with some delicious kumquats. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe or give us a thumbs up.